For local youth hockey players down in South County, finding a place to practice has been anything but a slap shot since URI's Boss Arena was forced to close two months ago. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock has the details on the sudden closure and what parents are saying about the challenges they're now facing. Matt? Since August, Boss Arena here behind me has been without ice, meaning Rhode Island hockey families have had to get creative in finding ways to practice. Um, our season actually would have started this weekend normally. Hockey. It's a game of physicality, finesse, and high-flying speed. But there's one major problem at Boss Arena. Where's the ice? So something I didn't really realize until this happened was we already had a shortage of ice in the state anyway. Since August, the rink on URI campus has been without ice due to what officials are calling a maintenance issue that led to a near complete loss of the arena's ice plant. As they tell 12 News, they're working on a permanent and quick fix. I mean, it's more frustrating that it's a state run rink and that it should have been a lot easier to be fixed by now. Practice here has been held without skates and on cement. We've already been fighting for ice time. Uh, so losing one of our rinks throughout the state makes a giant, you know, ripple effect basically on ice time. So we've actually taken a rollerblading. Leaving parents options a lot like a hockey metaphor in the penalty box. Usually it's, you know, a good hour, hour and a half away to get to them. And then we get the hours in what he wants. So it's a seven o'clock skate in Pawtucket or, you know, a late skate over in Boroughville. For us to drive to a 7 a.m. practice, you have to get the child up at 5.30 in the morning, and that's just not always ideal. But at this point, we take what we can get for ice times. Boss Arena's not just the home to youth hockey, but also five high school programs and other amateur associations. A URI spokesperson says they expect Boss Arena to be reopened by November 6th, going on to say they understand the community's frustration and how important this ice rink is to the community. Reporting from South Kingstown, Matt Paddock, 12 News.